Hey, what's up guys? We are in uh, Times Square and look at this. We got a wild Snorlax. He is at uh, 22.93. That is very high. I'm going to give him a, a Panap Berry and then we're going to give him an Ultra Ball. Okay, I'm going to stand where there's, where there's light. And I'm out here with uh, some of my uh, buddies from uh, Central Park. All right, so this is good. I have faith in just the Pokeball. I really should. Uh, oh, we, what? We got him with the first Pokeball. All right, let's see how much candy we get. We got five candy. Click OK. We got six. We got six total. He has Lick and Heavy Slam. So Heavy Slam, if you're not familiar, that's the new move. So let's appraise this dude. <laughs> My buddy, my buddy completed his Pokédex. Yo, can we see your completed Pokédex? When'd you complete it, dude? Right now. Joe. There we go. I can see that now better. She told me to. First dance spoofer to complete. 90. 90. Yeah. Sweet, bro. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Like four all, days took me four uh, days. You, me, or Laura? Dude, that is awesome. Four days. Congrats, oh, man. You get the last one. I got everything else before. What'd you do? You started evolving stuff, and you got the no, dragon no, no. scale. No, no, no. I, I evolved because I had too many. I had go. too many, and I evolved couple. I'm like, maybe there's a limit. You can only hold six or something, and you bought. Because I had seven, I think. So, so you like, started using it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so you. Again. Okay, so that's a tip from a guy that just finished his Pokedex. Use your uh, stones. And maybe uh, you'll start Wall getting star. different ones. Wall star. <laughs> guys that was my buddy uh, Tom we play uh, Pokemon Go at Gap uh, together him and a whole bunch of other people that uh, usually come out there and it's Gap is a uh, Grand Army Plaza 59th and 5th Avenue so from there I've caught my first Dragonite uh, I Snorlax I got oh so oh, most of my first Pokemon I got over there it's just everybody just crowds around the statue there and it's just it's amazing so you saw that at Grand Central Terminal which is not too far from there and we hopped on the bus we went out there uh, I caught a Snorlax he caught a Snorlax but on the road he evolved a uh, he got a dragon scale so he evolved his Kingdra on the road and uh, that was uh, that was the first guy to get 90 uh, Pokemon so that was awesome I'm, I'm not really there. I'm about 40 Pokemon. I have just 40 Pokemon. I'm continually adding Pokemon to my Pokedex, which is uh, which is really, really good. And yesterday I went out to PokeHunt. I upgraded my space. I got like two more gym coins. And then from there, I was able to get uh, 100 coins. And right now, if you don't know, which I notice a lot of people don't know yet, it's 50% off for storage, for Pokemon storage, not book bag storage, but Pokemon storage. So what it used to be 200 coins, now it's 100, but it's until the 28th, so it's the end of this month. So be sure to scoop it up. I already bought 150 space, and uh, I wish I'd known it like sooner that they were gonna do this. I would have saved most of my coins to get more space, but uh, I fill it up. Uh, I fill it up almost pretty much every day since uh, Gen 2 came out. Uh, this was a uh, Chikorita catch. Uh, Central Park right now is a Chikorita nest. So I caught like maybe five or six Chikoritas yesterday. This one is a 93 IV Chikorita. It was literally like four streets away from where everybody hangs out, what the area we call Gap. It was on uh, 63rd uh, Street and 5th Avenue. So that's just like walking distance. I'm like recalling now how we would run uh, for Blastoise, Venusaur, uh, Charizard. Dude, Charizard sometimes would spawn like right next to the lures where everybody's at. It was the craziest thing, man. It's very, very fun. I think once it gets warmer, um, I don't know how much people are going to be out there. Uh, this is, a, by the way, a 95 IV Pseudo Wudo. Uh, this Pseudo Wudo was uh, on 55th, I think on 55th and 5th Avenue, right? We had to walk a little bit for that one. 
Uh, we had to, uh, well, third, uh, 55th and 3rd Avenue. Yeah, we had to walk for this one a little bit. And, it, I mean, it wasn't too far. But the cool thing about hanging out there is there's a bus right there, the M4, M1. And that takes you straight into Bryant Park or Times Square. So if you see, like, uh, a dragon or a Snorlax at Bryant Park, and you have an unlimited Metro card, which is what I, what I have, you hop on the bus, boom you got your snorlax you take the bus back you get your kilometers in you get your pokestops in it's uh it's a lot of fun uh this sort of would have wasn't a high cp but i think i want to focus more on getting high iv pokemon uh because uh granted sudowoodo can be evolved but some of the pokemon that you can evolve and they have high ivs their cp will be just higher their cp will be much much higher and it almost will not be ever as strong as a Pokemon that does not have a high IV. So I think I think that is really, really interesting. That's really cool how they came up with that. I don't remember if Pokemon, uh, the cartoon, if it had that. I don't remember that. And I did, granted, I didn't really go into the later generations after that, um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it wasn't around. Uh, this him on top? Dude, this was my first Hitmontop. I mean, I I put in a lot of new Pokemon uh, yesterday, last night. Uh, but you see, the thing about uh, Gen 2 stuff is they're not really high CP. They're very, like, Donphan, uh, Chansey, Tyranitar, Ampharos, Heracross. Like, there's a few that will have a high CP. Like, Espeon has high CP. But a lot of these little guys don't, you know, a lot of these little guys are... What the, 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 what the problem is, they're not like real real, you know? If they were actual pets, if they were actual furry little creatures that you could have around your house, can you imagine a Donphan inside my house? But if you had those little guys, then I can understand it. But as far as the game and as far as challenges, PvP, gym battles, they're, they're not really up there. And I think that's unfortunate and, you know, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's what it is. Still, I do want to catch a lot of them. You know, Larvitars. Um, I, you know, yesterday there was only like one Larvitar. There was only like one Larvitar uh, in Central Park. And people were going to Times Square to catch these Larvitars. I mean, I know there'll be more later. So I'm not like in a big rush. And there's no way I'm gonna get enough to get it very quickly, but uh, Central Park is just has so much stuff that if you if you're like all over the place, you're just gonna wear yourself out. So I'm, I'm you know I'm taking my time a little bit, and I I know I'll get these Pokemon eventually, but uh, you do want to be the first one to get it, and you do want to get it quick. But traveling very very far for just three candy, uh, Larvitar I think right now is like an equivalent of Charmander. You know, like Totodile is like an equivalent to Squirtle. You know, like Cyndaquil, maybe Bulbasaur. Like, they're starters, right? So why would you travel so far for just like three candy like that? And I see a lot of people doing that. Sneasel, dude, that was my first one. Uh, we were, where were we? I forgot already. We were kind of like on the bus for the Snorlax. And I got this Yarma there. I got the Sneasel on the bus. Uh, if you're trying to hatch eggs, you get you on a public bus, okay? Don't, like, yesterday I got a soft ban for getting onto the subway. And, like, I was playing on the subway, and but it would travel, and because my connection would keep disconnecting and reconnecting, and I would appear randomly in places, I got a soft ban for 30 minutes. So I actually missed the Larvitar yesterday. It, like, it just ran away because I couldn't catch it. But if you're on a public bus, it goes so slow, you know, it, it actually really, really helps to uh, hatch eggs and stuff. Uh, this Fanfi, also my first Pokemon yesterday. This was already after we kind of wrapped it up for the night and I got my Snorlax. Um, anyway, guys, this is going to be it for today. This is my last catch. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I had a lot of fun yesterday. I will be going out today just here in a little bit and upload this video for you guys so you can enjoy it. And I'm gonna go out there. Please let me know what you guys caught. I'd be very interested to know what you caught, what kind of stones you got. Uh, I got a sunstone and I got an upgrade yesterday. So we'll see, maybe I'll do, be doing a, a Porygon uh, 
upgrade soon. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a thumbs up, check out my videos, and it'll help a lot. I'll catch you in the next one.